Not all mistakes are created equal and you've got a couple ahead of you that could make or break your future. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding on what you should pay attention to. Here are 15 expensive mistakes that you can make in life. Number one, thinking life is predefined or destined. The moment you think your life has already been pre-written, you lose the drive to alter it and what happens then is you default to whatever the world randomly puts in front of you. The biggest difference between the self-made rich and poor people is the confidence that the acquisition of wealth is not only fully under your control, but also a moral responsibility toward your family. Never assume that life will turn out one way or the other. Bend it to your will instead. Statistically, optimists outperform pessimists in life. While an optimist goes for it, the pessimist assumes the answer will inevitably be no, so there's no point in trying. But once you do try, sure, you'll get a lot of no's, but every once in a while you'll get a yes when you weren't expecting it. You only need one or two yeses for your life to change. If we told you that you were 20 no's away from changing your life, how fast would you go through those first 20? This applies in business, love, and life. Not asking becomes incredibly expensive in the long run. And speaking of love, number two, divorce or marrying the wrong person. Very few financial events can wipe out over half of your net worth and even fewer can wipe out the happiness of being alive. Who you marry is the second most important decision you will make in your life. The most painful prison is a home without love. Why? Because the alternative is having someone who's there for you in the darkest moments, in the toughest times. Your success, your happiness, grows exponentially in value when you share it with people you love and who love you back. Divorce breaks all of that. The only people better off after a divorce is the person who walked away and the lawyers, who, by the way, end up charging you between 15 to 30 percent, but more on that in a moment. Marrying the wrong person is like having two of the wheels on a car missing. Sure, you could still push the car forward, but progress isn't supposed to require that much effort. A real partner is an asset, not a liability. Someone that contributes actively to the well-being of the family. Marrying the wrong person will not only not give you that, but will end up working against it. So pick carefully and pick for the long run. Number three, having children too early or out of wedlock. Most people have no idea how expensive kids really are. They see the lower income folks doing it and assume that since they're doing better than these people, then they should be fine. As of 2022, the average cost of raising a child in the US to 18 years old is around $288,094 total, or $16,005 per year. Other sources estimate that number to be even higher. In Western Europe, the cost is pretty similar to the US. In Italy, for example, the average spend of raising a child from 0 to 18 is about 175,642 euro. Even in countries like the Philippines, you can expect to pay around $3,000 a year, totaling to $50,000 to get a child to the age of 18. The truth is, it's going to be a financial constraint even if you're decently positioned in life, and most people don't realize that. Having the children young when you have yet to mature yourself as an individual is a massive disadvantage in life, especially since we all want to give our kids a proper shot at life. By having children too early or out of wedlock, you're not just sabotaging yourself, but in a way you're sabotaging the child too, since they'll grow up without the proper guidance and tools needed to develop into fully functioning adults and they may have different struggles as they grow up. Number four, student debt for a useless degree. The real economic value to a degree holder is going down year by year while the prices for obtaining said degree keep going up. This inverse correlation has gotten to a point where a bachelor degree in advertising, for example, will cost you roughly $100,000. The catch is, high-level work in advertising does not require a degree. 
The only way for you to economically put that degree to work is if you keep going through the pyramid scheme that is modern day education and get a master's rather than a PhD and eventually start to teach. Do you realize the mental impact of being 25 years old with $200,000 worth of student debt starting out in life? Debt is like modern day slavery. Someone else will reap the financial benefits of your economic efforts until you buy your freedom back.